Welcome everybody. In this video I will give you a short introduction to the RFIM add-on module RF limits. In RF limits you can compare results with defined limit values. For example, you are able to design connections, check cross-section dimensions, or compare provided internal forces with the limit internal forces. This add-on module is also available for RSTOB. Here we have a model of a projecting timber roof. The loading and combinations have already been entered for this example. In the first module window of RF limits, you can decide if you want to design the structure either with no standard or according to such standards as Eurocode 5 for timber design or steel connections according to DSTV. I'm selecting the EC5 and German National Annex for this design. Then I want to select Result Combination 1 for the designs. This dialog stores the corresponding modification factors as well as the partial safety factor of the National Annex. If needed, they can be modified, for example, if other materials are used. I want the Editing a Limit option selected, which means the ultimate load capacity should be reduced by the corresponding factors. The limit parameters are defined in Module Window 1.2. First, I want to design the connection of a rafter attached to a purlin. To do this, I open the limit library, which is constantly being expanded. Here you can also add your own user-defined elements. I will show you how to do this in detail later on. Here you can see different connecting elements, such as system connectors and column footings from the SEGA company. Now I'll select an element for the member end. Under the limit values, you can see that the minimum di dimensions of the cross-section, in addition to the inner forces, are also checked for this connecting element. In this example, I select the rafter as the member. Then I define the service class as service class 2 and select solid timber for the factor category. In window 1.3, the load duration class of the individual load cases are defined. Now we can run the calculation. After the calculation, the results are shown in clearly structured tables in the results windows. Here you can see the designs for shear in Y and Z have been performed and the section cross-section depth and width has been checked as well. Now I want to design a column base connection. For the object type, I'll select a nodal support and I select the element uh, for the design from the limit library. The object I want to select is the column footing of the central support. I define service class 3 for this and also solid timber for the factor category. Again, running the calculation. Now the result window 2.6 lists the designs for the individual load combinations. The design for the maximum support force is 55.8% for, and for the minimum support force it is 61%. Now as a third limit, I want to check also the internal forces acting on a temper connection. First I create a new element for it in the limit library, first creating a new limit group and I will call it own temper connectors. and the new limit table will be called scarf joint. Now 
In addition, I can add my own picture to the limit table. I want to check the minimum and maximum shear forces that the connection can absorb. So I define negative 9.6 kilonewtons for the minimum shear, NZ, and positive 9.6 kilonewtons for the maximum shear NZ. And I will name the new limit element beam 120 by 180 millimeters. Then I select the member end on the release as the design object. And again, I specify service class 2 and solid timber. After the calculation, uh, result window 2.5 shows the design of the individual load combinations also for the connection with the timber connector. For the maximum design we have 82.9%. All of the input data and results of RF limits can be printed to the printout report. Here you can see all of the input values, and here are the individual design cases. The printout report can be printed directly, or it's also possible to export it as an RTF or a PDF file. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more information about Doable software at www.doable.com.